the Ushbizin, our heavenly guests. Welcome to the Sukkot Perspective. <laughs> The Sukkot Perspective is in honor of the complete and speedy recovery of Rav Ameitai ben Shoshana and Rechama Leia Basar. Sukkot Perspective is in loving memory of Reuven ben Yaakov, Leia ben Shabbat Sakav Yosef, Edward ben Ephraim, Shlomo ben Edward, and Yerachmiel Daniel ben Gedalia. May their souls be uplifted and may their memories be a blessing. We are about to celebrate Sukkot, the holiday of immense joy and happiness. The central theme of this Chag, of this holiday, can be found in the davening that we say during this holiday. Zman Sim the time of our happiness. And this happiness, this joy, is due to the immense miracles that God gave to the Jewish nation in the desert, specifically the Anani HaKovet, the clouds of glory that protected the Jewish people from the elements during their 40-year journey in the desert. We observe this holiday, we observe this Chag, by eating, drinking, and spending as much time in the Sukkah as possible. We bind together the Arba Minin, the four types of fruit, and Esrog, Elulav, three Hadassim and two Aravis, and each day except for Shabbos, we make a blessing over them, we make a bracha, and shake them in each direction. One of the more unique traditions of Sukkot is the heavenly guests, known as the Ushbiz. According to the Zayar in Parshas Emmer, each night of Sukkot has an intense concentration of spiritual energy and holiness relating to a great leader from our history. Avram Avinu, Yitzchak Avinu, Yaakov Avinu, Moshe Rabbeinu, Aaron Akoyin, Yosef HaTzadik, and Dovr Melech. The Zohar writes that each night of Sukkot, the soul of the corresponding heavenly guest leaves Gan Eden to partake in the divine light of our physical Sukkah. And many have a custom of reciting a special prayer at each meal, inviting and welcoming the Ushbizin, the heavenly guests, to their Sukkah. Additionally, Hasidus explains that all Chabad Rebbes, including the Baal Shem Tov and the Magad of Mezrich, join us on Sukkot with the other Ushbizin. Each night, both sets of Ushbizin enter the sukkah and partake in the celebration and impart their holiness and their blessings upon us and our sukkah. However, a question comes to mind. What is the connection between the Ushbizin, the heavenly guests, and the holiday of sukkahs? Each Seder night, we actually invite those who need to eat. We actually invite those who need a Seder to come and join our Seder, and yet we don't have the Ushbizin during Pesach when we actually invite people to our Seder and we are told to do so in the Haggadah. Why are there Ushbizin on Sukkot and not any other holiday? The Talmud in Sukkah, the tractate that deals with the laws and the holiday of Sukkot, writes a profound statement that should give us some perspective. All Jews are fit to sit in one Sukkah, no matter how connected they are or affiliated they are. We can be in the same Sukkah. No one makes the Sukkah impure, heaven forbid. The rabbis learn this from a Pasuk, Basukas Teshvu Shiva Semen, Kola Ezrach Bisrol Yeshu Basukas. You shall live in the Sukkah for seven days, all the Jewish people shall sit in the Sukkah. Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs of Blessed Memory writes in his book Covenant and Conversation on the Torah portion of Emor, which has all the verses, all the Psukim on Sukkas. He explains that Sukkas is the most inclusive holiday. We pray for the world's rainfall and add 70 extra karbanis, 70 extra sacrifices during Sukkas to represent the 70 nations of the world. But what's even more unique, writes Rabbi Sachs, is the unity that Sukkot brings to the Jewish people. Whether through the binding of the Lulav, Esrog, Hadassim, and Aravis, or just being together in the Sukkah, happiness and unity are at the core of our celebration of this Yom Tif, of this Chag. Accordingly, the Ushbizin, our heavenly guests, our forefathers, our great leaders, join us each night to celebrate this unity, to celebrate this togetherness. They transcend time and space to unite us with our beginnings, with the entirety of the Jewish nation, so we may all sit in one sukkah, that the whole nation, the entirety of the Jewish people, may sit in one sukkah. The Lubavitch Rebbe, Rebbe Menachem Mishnerson, adds that the sukkah represents God grabbing a hold of the Jewish nation, but with passion and affection. The walls of the sukkah symbolize his heavenly arms hugging us with kindness and compassion. So when we enter the sukkah with unity and with joy accompanied by our ushbizin, our heavenly guest, we fulfill the mitzvah of leaving the limitations of the past behind and jumping into the in total embrace of God. As the Torah writes right after the former Pasuk that I mentioned, so that future generations shall know. 
Kibasukus, he shafti his Bnei Yisrael, that I made the Jewish people live in Sukkot, by it's the some of Eretz Mitzrayim, when I took them out of Egypt. Why? Because I am the Lord, your God. May we merit to celebrate this Sukkot, this holiday of joy with the ultimate happiness in Yerushalayim, in Jerusalem, with the third Bismikdash, with the Geula Amites Vashlema, with the ultimate redemption. Have a joyous and meaningful Sukkot. Chag Tzameh. <laughs> Tanu mi kolal shonot, ahavda otanu.